folks, another top 10 Smithmas or Nightmare Before Smithmas showcased. I will be showcasing pretty much 7 cosmetics and 3 taunts. Trying to find taunts that are part of the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas is a little bit difficult. Obviously enough though, for the taunts I will be showcasing the videos which are from the workshop page and obviously link down below for each of the workshop items for you to have a look at and all credit goes to the creators of these items but they probably don't mind because hey free advertisement right but still i love doing these i love showcasing the amazing work that tf2 people make and the amazing work now if i butcher some names that's because i have dyslexia and global learning delay which affects my reading and pronunciation. I have been slowly improving. Some videos kind of prove that I am. But there's always room for screw-ups. And I would not be surprised if I screwed up more than once. But hey, let's get on to the video, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? There we go. Alright, I butchered up. But like I said, though, free taunts. The rest cosmetic. All picked randomly from the workshop page. Yeah. Okay, so at number 10. Bor... Borgerd... Ghost of Cows passed. That one's a bit of an annoying one. We have a little ghost that sings Christmas songs in theory, in any case, though. And it's from the past. Christmas past and heavy so sad. But it's a cute little ghost and it actually it looks very well made and well nice. I would not be surprised to see this, but you will never know really. At number 9 is Fr Frosty Frozeny. What? Did I say that wrong? Well, it's basically legs for the scout and um yeah, even running I think it needs some improvement. But, you know, like the Sniper Ostrich, Scout has a snowman one. Go Frosty! Next, number 8 is the Imbonable De Demon. So basically, you're a demon hunter and that poor Yeti's not going to see the light of day. It could fit on a demo, it could fit on a pyro, you could fit on anyone. And better yet, it is paintable. That's right, ju just the um, top bit is paintable, but everything else is, you can paint. Just the top bit. At number 7, Polar Bear. A hat for the Soviet Heavy. He's from Alaska and he has to stay warm, even though his hands are probably freezing cold. And uh, look at it, very well detailed, very well modelled, and indeed shows the Soviet side of the Heavy. Just look at him, determined to fight, and it comes in a variety of camo paint colours. I like the dark green one, or the more of a sewer green. Mint looks alright. At number six is the Hang Over Hero. Hung Over Hero, if that's correct. Basically, a superhero demo ready for battle. And he is ready. Or he had a bit too much to drink last night. I, I would not be surprised if he did. But this demo man is determined to blow shit up and pay well. That if the administrator doesn't find out he's been drunk on the duty. Next up is number five, Pocket Admin. It's basically the administrator. We have a Pocket Medic Heavy. And we have Asmus as the admin. And now, Pocket Porn and Pocket Zana. But good nonetheless though, if you want to get a good complaint in. And, yeah. But yet again, I thought it would probably go on the other mercenary's shoulders. Yet, nevertheless though, that's the scout for you. At number four is the Blizzard Walker. Not actual Blizzard, but you know, the coat that Heavy is wearing right now. By God, just the neck is the important, and look at that cosmetic. It comes with a variety of paints. 
team colors, and hey, you can combine it with any other of the wear. It's that good. You can even make your heavy look like an old Soviet marshal. <laughs> Next at number three is the Bunny Hopper. We're coming into the taunts now. And obviously enough though, the fear which obviously muted for obvious reasons. And we're looking at the Scouts one in. Look at that excellent animation. I, I love these little SFM shorts to showcase the taunts. It's just pretty cool. Look at Scout. He's going jump, jump. Here we have the intro. Scout on the pogo stick, which he is a bit of a hyper ma active man. Mouse click first time, does a roly poly. It's two, he does a spin. And he just jumps, jumps, and he's off. Animated by this guy, modeled by this guy, and by this guy. Well done, fellas. Next is the Highlands Holster. Basically, a pimp my demo. That's what it is. It's basically pimp my demo man. This demo is so pimped that he could literally be drunk on the better food. He wouldn't give half a damn. Look at him. He's just waltzing in. Doesn't give two shits. This is what I call a pimp demo. I'm never surprised we actually show on show called Pimp Me Bombs. Uh, besides talking about pimps, but still, look at this snazzy, good animations, and love the model for the demo. Must took frickin' ages to do this. But, this demo, he can give you advice. And to get the ladies, about how to be a pimp. Don't take my word on that. Please don't. Please. At lastly, number one is Smithsmith Surprises. A lovely gift from Pyro. And how does it work? You go in the box. You look out, waiting for someone. And then you open the surprise and burn your enemies to death. Like this, for example. Ta-da! Pyro is so glad to see you as his present. And then he or she burns you to death. Oh, look at this. Cool intro. Loops. Outro. Oh my god, that's your gift. And it also moves. Nice. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. And modelled by this guy, animated by this guy, and promos from this guy. And that is it for our Nightmare Before Smithsmith showcased. I will probably do warm paints and unusuals next. And these are just amazing. I love seeing these community cosmetics of people doing amazing, amazing work. Like, literally. It's absolutely awesome. I love seeing it. And obviously, it is Nightmare Before Christmas. So obviously, it's a Nightmare Before Christmas. I haven't seen any Halloween-themed cosmetics in this event. That's going to be an interesting one if someone does actually do that. What do you guys think? What kind of Halloween cosmetics could we put into this? Or the amazing creators could make. But yet again... It's all a mystery, isn't it? You want to believe, but yet again, you cannot. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. <laughs>